So I've got the problem on, uh, it's very common on these um, sort of two, uh, Mark II Ford Focuses, and I think it's similar on the Mondeos, where the, um, the locking mechanism here breaks. Uh, it's got a security uh, mechanism on it to stop tampering, and uh, it's very easy for that to break. Uh, and so when you put the key in, it, it doesn't release. It's supposed to release the bonnet, um, but nothing happens. And you can try pushing it in, and uh, you know it's no good. Um, so I had a look on YouTube, and there's some various ways of doing it: smashing out the ring here, smashing up in there, but it, it doesn't seem to work. Um, I think the main problem is this: there's like a curved, curved. Um, like thick cable that goes up into the lock and uh, when they get old they don't don't turn enough to um, to release the bonnet so uh, the idea is getting at this mechanism without breaking the grill lots of people say to break the grill but uh, there's um, these, there's one version I'm gonna have a go at where you can just pop the bottom of the grill here out and then there's some plastic screws holding the grill in at the top there's about five of them I think you can just snap off or you know cut off with a chisel or something so if you pop the bottom off uh, and you can just do that with just get something behind uh, behind the grill that you can kind of hook it and it just pops open like that so that's that side all loose uh, and then same on this side it just pops up like that and then you can open it up and get underneath get your hand in there uh, and you should be able to just um, break off the plastic screws that hold the grill in at the top. Once you can get the grill out, um, you can get at this mechanism that goes up into the uh, into the lock and um, at least open the bonnet and then there's a replacement kit that Ford do because this happens so much to just replace this cable. Now the you have to rebuild the cylinder for the to match your key which can be a bit fiddly but we'll see you know if we can get away with not doing that because this is an old car and I don't really not that bothered about it. Anyway, so I'm going to give it a go at getting my hand up there and getting a chisel or something and break off those top ones and see if the grill comes out. You can see one of the grill, the um, little screws there in the middle. Uh, see, it's just a plastic screw that's forcing the outer uh, to flay out. So it's um, just holding that top plastic part of the grill to the uh, to the engine bay there so uh, so what I've done is got a sharp chisel up against one that's there and just going to try whacking it and see if I can get those ones off without getting my hand up under the grill because it's quite tight um, but I think there's, there's another one here somewhere in the corner so I'm probably gonna have to get underneath for that but I'll give it a go okay so one came off nice and easy this is the next one yep oh this is working well Right, so I've got three off. There's one about there. There's uh, one here, one here, and one here. Uh, and then there's the two more that you can see from in here. You have to get them from the top by the looks of it. Um, just in there, you can just see the sort of the top of it. So I'm going to try and get a chisel on there. I mean, like, it's super easy to scratch these bumpers. But, um, yeah, you can see the top of the screw there. It's just plastic, so I'm just going to whip the top of that off either side, and then hopefully the grill will come out. Right, so I've got the one off of that side, and the four in across the top of the grill, and then there's just this one on the other side. This one's sticking out of it, so you can see it a bit more easily. You can see the top of the head there. Uh, so we're just going to break that off. You don't want to break the screw. You want to get the screw and the the sort of grommet it screws into. So just snap the top off with the with the uh, chisel. All right, here we go. You've got to be careful with it. This stuff's so um, soft. You don't need to put a something on it to protect it because the chisel will scratch it. Go. Right, so it seems that so the two clamps on either side are just two pieces of plastic, rigid plastic. Uh, two pieces of rigid plastic either side, just holding the this 
in so I've just pulled them apart and they seem to sort of they stay apart so this is free to go now but it's because it's a big cable going back there it's got some resistance on it but you can um, you can just give it a push and um, just get it out of its latch like that and then get your hand up underneath and just pull it out of the way Like this bit was supposed to come out. Hmm. Oh. Okay, fine. Right. So because this because this grill came out at the top there, so this thing looks like it's just a couple of clips holding it on. So I think that whole um, knocking out these um, plastic screws across the top there with the chisel was probably a waste of time. I think you can just probably pull the bottom out like I did at the beginning, and then just. Well, no, you probably ah. Oh, so okay, so you need to get these corner ones out. They're the ones that were holding it to the bodywork. So these these ones in the middle there, one, two, three, four. I don't think you needed to. I needed to take them out. It's just those two end ones there, and there that were, that you can see through the gap in the bonnet beside the light. So I think if you just took those off. That you could just wiggle the whole grill and the whole this whole unit comes off because they're just clipped in. So that's that bit. So this is the uh, lock um, cylinder, uh, and it was clamped in behind the grill there with uh, that bit of plastic. So I just pulled those apart and then uh, just got my hand underneath and pulled it out. So now the trick is going to be getting this. This is the offending item. So try and get this out. All right. Um, so I think the only way I'm going to be able to get this off is um, to break this part here. Because uh, then what I need to do is get to the locking release mechanism. Uh, un you know, it's behind it. So uh, I'm just going to smash it off and see what happens. I'm just going to whack it with this screwdriver. And <laughs> see what happens. So uh, the way to do it apparently is to get a really big hammer <laughs> uh, and whack it. There we go. And then just that's interesting. Okay, we hit it again. There we go. Right, so let's just um, get this white disc out, the last bit of the thing I broke off. Need a bit of a bit more. Uh, so if I can just get that white bit out, I think the the metal, the plastic key that goes between the this part I'm breaking off oops, uh, is behind it. You can see it behind it. Um, so that bit in the middle is the key that goes into the lock. If I twist it anti-clockwise first. That does the first release, and if I twist it around the other way, Oops. There we are. So the next bit 
is going to be getting this off to put the new one in. And I believe that is just um, getting the locking mechanism off. And there's just two 10 mil either side there. Just take that off, and then I should be able to get to the the back of this bit to push it through, and then put the new one in. Right, I've taken the two 10 mils out of there, and this one's just going to come out, and then the lock hopefully just comes off, which it does. And you can see that disc. These, these away. This should just push through, hopefully. And there's the square section of it. So that should just all just push out. Okay. And, uh, take the old bit out. And... Right, so this is the bit you can buy separately. So if this is, uh, this clips in, um, but this is like a little uh, cross section um, key that goes in there. It's just a bit of plastic and it, it pops out. But, but these can snap as well, uh, which can be another reason this mechanism stops working. You can buy these separately for like two or three pounds. So if it's just, I mean, this is all gnarled up, well, that might be me hitting it. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm gonna get that out and then I can put the new, the new mechanism in and start putting this all back together again. Right, so now I'm just going to pull this out with a pair of pliers. Uh, so I disconnected this a little electrical, um, there's an electrical thing on there, so I took that out just in case, you know, you don't want it pulling the wires out. Uh, so I'm just going to get hold of that with the pliers and <coughs> pull. You can see the little clips on the end there. So the next job is to um, so the kit, uh, you know, that's all quite self-explanatory, just goes back in through the locking mechanism. But this is the bit that attaches to the barrel of your key, which is obviously unique to your key. So um, I, I think the, uh, the choices are to take this one out and try and get it in there, or you can, if kit includes everything you need to rebuild the, the lock. Um, so this is a blank, so you put your key in there, and then to match your key, you have to use these tiny little springs and pop them in the little circle there and then you have to try each of these with this little notch going on the spring going against the spring on that hole and then you keep trying your key in there uh, if, and if your key hits where you've put the, the new section in uh, and doesn't go past you've got the wrong one so you need to keep trying it and then you need to do that for every one I, th I believe that's how you're supposed to um, build the new lock up so it matches your key. Uh, but my, my one's okay, so I'm gonna try and just use the existing one. So I've just drilled, so there's two pins here and here, which are very short, and I've just drilled them out. And they've drilled out really easy, it's very soft. And then there's a bigger pin here that goes all the way through, and I literally just tap that through uh, with a tiny screwdriver, and, and it didn't take any force at all to come through. So um, uh, so hopefully this this will come out now and I can just put it into the new one and then they've supplied pins with the kit to put in there um, if your barrel is not working needs replacing and you need to build this up uh, there's another YouTube video uh, that explains exactly how to do it so I'll link to that so just look below for the uh, the link and the, the guy explains it really well. Right, so I had to drill that out a bit more uh, and you can tell when it goes through it just goes loose so you keep drilling it until it goes loose so then this comes off but you need to be I had to prise it with a screwdriver and there's a spring on the end so just make a note of how that um, um, I've taken the so I've got the um, the cylinder out of this, the, the original one, um, and you can sort of see where it's wider at the bottom there. Uh, there. Uh, it kind of just fits into the new one, on that wide bit there. And uh, so this, this can, you need to twiddle this around a bit, maybe uh, from the other end, just to get it uh, lined up. But it seems to be fitting in okay on mine, just sliding it in.
seems to fit in quite nicely. So I'm just going to check it with the key to make sure when I turn the key it's uh, turning that bit round nicely. Um, and so you've got these tiny little pins. Uh, the little pins go in either side of here and here and uh, the larger pin goes all, you just tap it through there uh, to lock it, lock that all in. Uh, and then it's time to fit it to the cut the key in and turn it. Uh, it turns you know, all the way through 180 degrees, uh, really easy. And I think what happens to a lot of them is that doesn't go through the, it starts, you know, not turning all the way. Uh, I think that's what's happening on mine. Uh, some of them, this little section here snaps, gets brittle and snaps. So you can just, you know, take this out. If you can get the bonnet open, take this out and replace it. But um, obviously, like mine, I had to break it to get to get into the bonnet. So uh, I don't know. Anyway, this all seems to be quite good now. I'm going to put it back in the car. Right. Okay. So then it's just a case of fitting this back in. Through there. Let's just show it around the back. So this this long bit just sits flush with the bottom of the car, the bottom of the metal plate. Right, so I'm just going to put it back together. So um, this cross section, you have to line up with the section in there. Oh, let's put the metrics back on. So it's all fitted, uh, looks good. Uh, I'm just going to test it before we shut the bonnet, just in case. So it goes through the first catch, then down on the second catch. So if I turn it to the left, it pings up nicely, and turn it to the right and it releases it. So, yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. Okay.